Hello today's video we have the following content. Luo Jin's sobriety is worthy of praise for not pretending to be young, not getting injections, and not having skin smoothing to play a judge. Looking back at the TV series that have become popular in the domestic drama market in 2024, they are basically all about urban love, ancient romance and other types. There are indeed good ones, but they always make the audience feel a little bit lacking. So what is the domestic drama market lacking? In fact, it is the main theme drama. For the audience, the serious drama may not always attract everyone, but if you don't watch it for a long time, people will find that there is a lack of backbone in the domestic drama market. But now CCTV is making another effort to calm the audience's restless hearts with execution judge. The play takes 16 execution cases close to the lives of the people as the entry point, showing the execution judge's adherence to the law and principles in their work. Although only four episodes have been updated, the audience can also feel the director's control of the content from the continuous dramatic conflicts, and the ratings easily broke one, which is also expected by everyone. As a CCTV drama, this new work also invited a talented male actor with unique temperament and good looks to join the show, which directly controlled the audience and made them unable to stop watching. Who has such great charm? Zero One appearing without makeup, amazing acting skills. Judge is a type of character with its own halo in domestic dramas. In fact, many actors try to be handsome by playing such roles, thinking that it is enough to look good after wearing uniforms, but they don't know that the actors have to play the role itself, not to participate in beauty pageants. In comparison, Luo Jin is much more sober. In the new drama, he plays Qi Lin with simple and refreshing short hair, without any trace of foundation on his face. Under the high-definition camera, the audience can see the pores and spots on his skin. Is this really without any modification? Luo Jin, 42 years old, is not young anymore, and it is inevitable that there will be forehead wrinkles, nasolabial folds, crow's feet and other things on his face. But it can be seen that he has no anxiety about these skin blemishes. He does not get injections and pretend to be young. He just walks in front of the camera and shapes the role with the most real feeling. Will this affect the audience's perception? Quite the contrary. In reality, judges are all about work, and few of them dress up slickly. They are not overbearing CEOs, so why bother? So Luo Jin chose to appear without makeup, without excessive makeup, but wearing this uniform, he actually doesn't need to speak, and he has a demeanor of a judge wherever he stands. More importantly, Luo Jin is born with a kind of affinity, handsome and not distant. This makes him too advantageous in shaping the image of Qi Lin, a kind and gentle judge who can empathize with the disadvantaged. The most impressive scene is that they went to the horse farm to perform the task, but were blocked by the locals. Seeing that the conflict was about to be intensified, Qi Lin turned and shouted to the communicator, I suspect this is a premeditated collective obstruction of forced execution, and the possibility of a gangster gang is not ruled out. This serious look, even I in front of the screen would believe it. But it was his witty reaction that shocked this group of unruly people and controlled the situation in a few words. Is Luo Jin handsome in this drama? The answer is yes. However, his handsomeness is not just on his face. He has no idle baggage. Instead, he integrates himself into the role. His gestures and movements show the charm of the judge. This is the correct way to open up a middle-aged male actor. It turns out that Luo Jin has already walked out of his own track without knowing it. Zero to continuous breakthroughs in solid acting skills. The current middle-aged male actors in the domestic entertainment industry basically have fixed roles. They are either workplace elites or overbearing CEOs. They are all dressed up brightly and beautifully, from head to toe. Even the characters in each drama can be played connect the dots because they are the same in every role. But Luo Jin is an actor with clear goals. He has been constantly looking for breakthroughs in roles in the past two years. In Anjia, although Su Wen Chang, who he plays, is the leader of a real estate agency, he usually does not wear a suit. He dresses comfortably and simply, and occasionally has to worry about the living problems of this family of employees. Just like the character's nickname Aunt Su, Luo Jin grasps the tolerant and considerate side of the character, leaving a deep impression on the audience. In Outside the Court, Luo Jin transformed into a gold medal lawyer in Tianjin and Hong Kong. When investigating a case, he was threatened by a female villain and was directly strangled by someone. His veins bulged. This feeling of suffocation made the audience feel very involved and sweated. At the same time, it can be found that even if Luo Jin plays such an elite role, he will not always be like other male actors, 
but give different reactions in different scenes. His acting skills are too delicate. Not only that, the most surprising role is the Emperor Kangxi he played in The Long River of the World. In my impression, Luo Jin has always been a gentle temperament, so when I first learned that he was going to play the Emperor, I was worried for him. But I didn't expect him to be able to perform an aura of majesty without anger. Many times, he doesn't need to deliberately get angry. One look can make people feel the majesty of the Emperor. This role also allows the audience to see Luo Jin's plasticity again. Now he has returned as a judge. His performance has no shadow in other dramas. He has truly achieved the level of drama-throwing face, which makes people applaud. In the current entertainment industry, it is really rare to see male actors like Luo Jin who mainly film and perform low-key. Audiences familiar with him know that Luo Jin rarely participates in variety shows. He spends most of his time in the crew. The scripts he chooses are obvious to all. He never stays in his comfort zone. Moreover, since marrying Tang Yan, Luo Jin has always maintained a low-key style, not hyping or making trouble. Even after Tang Yan was nominated for the Magnolia Award for Flowering Flowers and her popularity rose again, Luo Jin did not drag his wife to show affection and seek a sense of existence. So, Luo Jin is the object that all male stars in the domestic entertainment industry should emulate. 03 Conclusion The domestic entertainment industry has never lacked middle-aged male actors, but it lacks male actors who are willing to take acting seriously. Luo Jin is now 42 years old, and his appearance is naturally not as good as when he was young, but he did not fall into the aesthetic trap, did not do any technology work on his face, just kept fit, and has always appeared in various well-received domestic dramas in a good state, speaking with his acting skills, and creating one classic role after another for the audience. In him, the audience saw the most sincere attitude of being an actor. In fact, no matter how popular and discussed an actor is, the key to retaining his popularity lies in his works. Luo Jin, who has always been low-key in filming, has proved his sobriety with practical actions, just like a clear stream in the entertainment industry. Tang Yan's magnolia moment has come, but I think Luo Jin's acting award is also beckoning to him, so let's wait and see. So what do you think about this? Next news. Luo Jin, a professional in drama, has a new drama that is popular on CCTV. His acting is down to earth, but he is dragged down by Yang Zishan. Yang Zishan, who faded out of the entertainment industry after marriage, terminated her contract with her old company. Now she has good resources for her comeback, but she is suspected of plastic surgery because of her stiff face. Nowadays, there are many kinds of film and television works with different types, including many positive energy dramas that are popular on mainstream platforms. However, there are only a handful of actors who are called professional in drama, and Luo Jin is one of them. Perhaps some people think that drama is a bit boring, lacks innovation, and has a serious homogeneity phenomenon. However, because of this, it takes more talent and skill to perform this type of drama brilliantly and not make the audience aesthetically fatigued. Luo Jin performed well in this regard, even better than Tong Dui, Wang Xiaomin and other seemingly more popular stars of the same age. In fact, it is not easy to become a professional in drama. Many traffic stars cannot support the whole story or interpret the role, and some experienced old actors can only play supporting roles because of their older age and lack sufficient appeal. Luo Jin happens to have both advantages, he is not only young, but also has both good looks and popularity, and his acting skills are also quite strong. Therefore, compared with Wang Xiaoming, Tong Dui and other actors who frequently star in various urban love family dramas, Luo Jin has focused on serious dramas in recent years. Not only does he have an outstanding reputation, but his resources are also quite superior. He has occupied a safe and comfortable field in the film and television industry. In recent years, I have watched many main theme dramas starring Luo Jin. The various civil servants and other roles he played are all full of positive energy, very pleasing, and deeply loved by the audience. Luo Jin recently surpassed his wife Tang Yan and other middle-aged male stars with his usual low-key attitude. His new work Execution Judge has also quietly appeared on CCTV's TV series channel. Although it is low-key, it is not without luxury. Although dramas about legal judges are now quite common, the professional filter and mystery have long been broken, and Luo Jin's positive role as a judge is no longer novel, he can present these seemingly overly beautified, sensational and positive perfect roles in a real and convincing way, without causing aesthetic fatigue to the audience.
The reason why he can do this is not only because of his excellent acting skills, but also because he moved the audience with his sincerity. Originally, Luo Jing could have won a good reputation and popularity with the drama executive judge, but unfortunately, his female partner Yang Zishan did not perform well. From the image to the acting skills, it is difficult to be satisfactory, which has dissuaded many viewers, thus dragging Luo Jin's feet. Yang Zishan is unique in the entertainment industry. Judging from her appearance alone, she is not outstanding, and there is nothing particularly attractive among many female stars. She belongs to a more ordinary type. However, she was selected by a certain way to sign a contract that year, and became famous for starring into youth. Although she obtained a lot of resources afterwards, the performance of film and television works was not satisfactory. Then, a certain way gradually faded out, and Yang Zishan also terminated the contract and married to Taiwan, leaving the entertainment industry. Unexpectedly, she has made a comeback in the past two years, and the resources are still very good. This year, she has starred in two serious dramas. At present, Yang Zishan's performance does not match the high-quality resources she has obtained, causing her to become the focus of controversy. There are two main aspects of the problem that have been criticized, one is her acting skills, and the other is her appearance. Yang Zishan's acting skills often seem to be too much, which is not only because the roles she took were too positive, which limited her performance, but also reflected that her acting skills were not mature enough. Faced with such roles, her performance was often too much, which made the audience feel uncomfortable. For example, when playing the role of a female judge in this drama, although the role setting was somewhat rigid and serious, and there was a conflict with other characters, Yang Zishan's performance was too intense, becoming righteous and righteous, and seemed excessive. In addition, Yang Zishan's face always makes people out of the play and steals a lot of limelight. She is not beautiful to begin with, even if she has gained some weight in middle age, it doesn't matter as long as she is natural. However, Yang Zishan's face looks swollen, and her facial features are not coordinated and pleasing to the eye, which not only affects the interpretation and communication of various emotional micro-expressions, but also affects the audience's perception. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 